Hi everyone, this is Mike again today uh, with the first in-depth review of the latest expansion pack from Toontrack, which is called UK Pop EZX. I just got the copy one week ago. Um, at this stage, let me say thank you to Toontrack and Norman Gaschke, the Toontrack product manager for Germany, giving me a free copy of the software to test it out for you. So without further ado, let's start. Uh, the UK pop, first of all, some nerdy information around this expansion pack uh, and how the tune track produced it. Um, the UK pop was recorded in London at the Rack Studios um, with the team from Ash Zone, the drummer. Uh, Ash Zone um, is a well-known session drummer for decades. He played with Ronan Keating, Robbie Williams, Adele, just to name a few. Uh, Mark Taylor won a Grammy for his um, uh, engineering work on Chair's I Believe, uh, the famous vocal uh, tune sound from Chair. Rack Studios are well known um, and really sought after, not only in London, but around the world. Um, bands such as Pink Floyd, David Bowie, uh, Adele, Take That, Radiohead, Hot Chocolate, uh, just to name a few, all recorded their hits within Rack Studios. Uh, the Rack Studios were opened in 1976 and um, it contains two API uh, recording rooms, one with an SSL a mixing console and one with a Neef. Um, let's go to the sample pack. The UK pop is um, first of all quite unique. Um, Toontrack has a lot of uh, expansion packs uh, for rock, for pop, uh, for metal, of course, but the UK pop is really something new, um, something really unique, which hasn't been released so far. Um, it's best described, and Toontrack descri describes it that way, to be warm and organic. And I think this fits pretty, pretty much. The sound of the drums um, are more the sound of Ash Sound's um, drum sound over the last years, uh, which works fine. To the setup, we have um, Gretsch and Ludwig drums. Uh, you see we have um, five different kick drums. One is uh, recorded with a flea speeder here, but it's the same kick drum basically. Or We have four uh, kick drums, the USA Custom, the Gretsch Broadcaster, Ludwig Hollywood and the Gretsch Round Badge Kit, which is the default kit. Um, toms, we have the Round Badge 8x12, Ludwig Hollywood um, sampled with mallets. The USA Custom, the broadcaster, and again the same broadcaster, which was damped with um, some towels uh, to create that Beatles sound back from the 60s. Um, and we have a, round, um, a floor tom slot here. You see a great round badge, Ludwig Hollywood again, the USA Custom, the broadcaster. So a pretty small and decent setup, um, which fits basically exactly to my setup, and not only for the color. Uh, so I like this really one uh, silver sparkle, um, really nice, uh, nicely done. Unfortunately, um, the samples or the, the graphics here doesn't change if you change the sample which they do in superior drama by i think this uh, works anyway the snare drum um, some a wide variety of ash um, private uh, snare drums and sounds starting from this really fat yamaha club custom snare drum to some more quacky ones like the scratch purple heart and I mean, you see, when you look at the list, it's really um, a fine collection of vintage sounding drums. Um, Gretsch, Ludwig, the Scratch Chrome over by Stop Sign Badge. So really, you see, it's already more of the vintage style. It's no uh, modern, punchy metal sound, but this is not what this expansion pack is all about. Um, same for the hats. Um, you find some information on Toontrack's website. Uh, about those heads. Um, some of those heads were sampled or uh, were used, for instance, in Adele's Set Fire to the Rain, a uh, million times um, sold this um, record from Adele. We have this 14 inch 16 Zildjian A, the 50 Zildjian K Istanbul, um, and this very crispy sounding Zildjian Avedis um, hi hats. I will show some sound samples about the presets later in this video and I've already used this uh, sample pack, this expansion pack for a new drum cover from Texas, I don't want a lover. If you want to see this, just click on the info box in the top right corner. We have um, on this symbol one slot um, three different um, uh, crash symbols here to uh, the Zildjian Karope symbols, 18 and 19 inch. 
um, and this big 22 inch Zildjian Constantinople uh, to create really that rushy big sound. Um, here on the right side as a secondary crash um, which is set by default is a stack symbol, it's a um, K-Rope symbol um, stacked on the Zildjian Constantinople uh, crash. We have the Zildjian K special custom drive um, and a more crispy sounding 16-inch uh, Zildjian Kurope. So you see, um, it's though there are not so many instruments sampled uh, when it comes to cymbals and toms and hi-hats, but you get a, a huge variety. So you can have everything between warm, washy sounding uh, and some crispy if you want more straight rock tunes. Um, for the right, we have three difference. Um, one, the default is a 22-inch Zildjian K Constantinople. The special dry, uh, 23 inch. And the same 22 inch right um, sampled with some mallets. Uh, as an addition, we have some hand claps here uh, in a dry and wet, which means with a little, uh, with added reverb. And some stumps, you see those pair of shoes here. So a nice addition if you want to uh, lay those samples underneath your kick drum or your snare drum, uh, basically. So um, you see it's a quite tight pack, uh, not that they didn't went overboard, but this is like the, um, the approach of Easy X anyway. Um, you don't get usually those big sounding with 15 sets of toms and 20 snare drums. Um, this is really for some someone looking for a special sound Mm, um, just two toms usually work in most occasions within music. You can add, of course, uh, using Superior Drummer. Um, by the way, this is how the Easy Egg looks. In Superior Drummer, um, is those um, standard generic uh, graphics here. Uh, you, you can, of course, use and stack all the instruments. So you, if you play some like an e-drum uh, player like me, uh, you can, of course, add different toms, um, so you can play like five, six toms, doesn't... Um, so you don't have to be uh, limited to the amount of, uh, of drum samples or the slots here. So, um, what else to say? Of course, there are some cool um, MIDI grooves included, uh, sampled by Ash Sound himself, for all you producers and guitar players out there, uh, some really cool grooves. The mixer section is quite straightforward, kick, snare, hi-hat, two toms. You have different channels for the claps and the stoms, overhead, some mono microphones. That's basically it within Easy Drummer. However, if you switch to Superior Drummer, which I do now, and you go to the mixer section, you see you have more control. Um, you have two different overhead ribbon mics. You have three different uh, mono microphones. And this is the cool thing, and this is the reason why I use those sample packs from Easy Drummer, even in Superior Drummer, because you have full control over the bleeding uh, on each and every uh, room microphone, so you can really fine tune uh, those packs. So now let's hear some drums. Um, I've created a loop, uh, the, this basic um, groove here, this is from the MIDI pack that comes along with this uh, Easy X. Um, just 20, 30 seconds of uh, a little groove and I will go through the different presets which are shown here. You have the default kit and some cool sounding uh, presets just to give you an idea how versatile this drum uh, sample pack can sound. So let's start with the default pack which is called UK Pop. I have to start again because the default snare is of course this fat sounding Yamaha Club Custom. So sorry once again. Okay. Now the deeper beta. We have the Hollywood, um, the Ludwig Superphonics, so we have a Ludwig uh, basically. Going 
next to the tea towels, which is pretty cool. Uh, I really like this. Um, uh, instantly thought of uh, some old build it tunes that you can uh, use those samples for. Next one, Carnaby Street. The Bow Street Runner. Bristol eyes. Next one is Art School. So I was already clipping, uh, and the final one, um, the original mix. So that was pretty much it. Um, I hope you find this one helpful. I really like this uh, new Easy X. Mm, it gives, it adds um, a nice, unique character and a new, um, some sort of sound and tone to uh, the existing ar arsenal. Um, it was quite easy to mix them. They are well recorded, as always, like for the Easy Drum expansions. Of course, there are some sort of pre-processed already. They are not completely dry, but um, if you really like warm, organic-sounding drums. Uh, for some straight pop, some ballads, um, even some rock music, um, which you want to add that UK flavor, which you were maybe on Robbie Williams and Adele and all those music. Uh, go check this out, find some information on Tundrak websites, um, additional making of videos or interviews with the drummer and the producer. Um, so heads off Toontrack again a nice product. Thank you guys for watching if you have any questions about this product or any other um, Topic eDrum or software related. Just leave a comment below. I appreciate every reaction. Thanks again for watching and see you next time. Bye. Bye